God says. In Corinthians, we find comfort in knowing that you are the God of all comfort, and you comfort us in our troubles, so that we can comfort others. Help us to be vessels of your comfort to those in need. 2 Corinthians tells us that in Christ, we are new creations. The old has passed away, and the new has come. Lord, we thank you for the transformation you bring into our lives. Corinthians assures us that all your promises find their yes in Christ, and you have anointed us with your Spirit as a guarantee. We hold fast to your promises. I offer my gratitude to you, O Lord, as a sacrifice of thanksgiving, as instructed in Psalm. I thank you for your countless blessings, for the love and grace you continually bestow upon me. You have shown me your faithfulness in times of trouble, and I call upon you now, confident that you will deliver me from many challenges I may face. I trust in your unwavering promise that I shall glorify your name through the triumphs you grant. If you resonate with this message, type Amen and consider subscribing for more uplifting content. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to receive notifications for new videos. I have made promises that are as steadfast as the mountains and as unchanging as the rising sun. I invite you to serve me wholeheartedly. As you do so, I promise to shower you with blessings that extend beyond the mere sustenance of bread and water. Abundant provision will flow into every aspect of your life, bringing you joy, fulfillment, and satisfaction. I am a faithful God, and I will remove sickness from your midst, guarding you with my loving care. Allow your heart to take solace. Support our community and donate us through super thanks. The power of faith is astounding, capable of transforming lives and mending brokenness. The prayer offered with unwavering faith has the incredible potential to bring healing to the sick. As you lift up your petitions to me, believe with all your heart that I am the God who heals and restores. Trust that I will raise up the weary and afflicted, granting them strength and renewed vitality. Moreover, know that if anyone has fallen into the snares of sin, their repentance and confession will be met with my overflowing forgiveness and grace. Never underestimate the power of prayer, dear one. I remember the message from Revelation, urging me to repent and return to my first love for you. This passage is a reminder to examine my heart and actions, to let go of anything that distances me from you. Grant me the strength to resist the works of darkness and to conquer all that opposes your truth. Lord, help me to rekindle the fire of my initial faith and devotion to you. I find comfort in the words of Psalm, knowing that you are my refuge and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. Even when the world around me may be in turmoil, I can find peace and security in your presence. Support our community and donate us through super thanks. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you.